In this video I'm going to be installing Active Directory Connector and the first thing I've done is I've inserted the installation disk for Microsoft Server 2003. So uh, the next step we need to um, open up our um, Explorer w uh, window and we want to go to our CD-ROM and we're going to expand that and then we're going to go to uh, Active Directory Connector ADC and we can expand that and then from there we want to yeah expand I386 in fact we'll just click on it and then from there we want to find our setup file. should be setup exe um, so we can go ahead and select that and that should begin the process of installing the ADC of course is the wizard that pops up so the next thing we do is click next and of course we need to accept the end user license agreement and then as far as this um, we want to select Microsoft Active Directory connector services and components and the management components okay so then we'll click next and it's going to put it in program files it's fine and then uh, I'm going to enter the default password of password one and click next I guess password 01 And so now it's beginning to install um, Active Directory Connector. So this shouldn't take too long here. Okay. Okay, so we've successfully installed that. So I'm going to click finish and then I'm going to close out of this explorer window. And next thing the activity wants us to do is um, start the Active Directory Connector. It should be in start all programs and under the exchange Active Directory Connector. So we're going to open that up. So in the left plane, um, the ADC tools um, so we're going to select that so when you select the tools it requires that all steps uh, required to configure between um, Active Directory and Exchange Server so um, this is what we would do uh, to migrate Active Directory um, and Exchange Server 5.5 directory. So this is uh, the tool that we would use to do that. So um, Active Directory Connector is now installed and that will conclude this activity.